Well, in one of our classes today, I forgot to put a line of code in to this constructor, and I really feel bad, so I made an extra video for you. Uh, here's what we did in class today. This is the constructor of the what? Of the uh, deck class. So we started off doing this in class again today. Outside loop can either go through ranks or values. They both have the same size. In a real deck of cards, like a poker deck or a Crazy Eights deck, there would be 13 values uh, and 13 ranks, and then, of course, four suits. So you can go through int i equals 0, i less than ranks dot length, or you could do values dot length. It's up to you. And then i plus plus. And then the inside loop has to go through uh, the suits array. It's the different size. If they are all the same size, then we could just use one loop. If you knew you had four ranks, four suits, and four values, it would just take one loop. But we have different size loops, so we'll do an enhanced for loop to make it simpler. Card through, I'm sorry, let's go suit. All right, it's a suit through suits. And again, this I did in class, but there's a mistake here, unfortunately. Mr. Reisky goofed, goofed up here. Uh, so we want to add a card to the cards array list. And this is the line that causes the problem when we run it. Uh, so let's see, it would be ranks of I suit values of I. So it looks good, of course. I thought it looked good, but I just did it too fast. This will compile. I, oh, it should. I always forget. I always forget that print right there. This will compile, but then when I try and run it, it's going to say no pointer exception. There's no place to put any new cards because I ignored the direction and didn't make the array list. The first thing it says in the PDF file is to make the array list and we haven't made it yet. We've not completed the instantiation. So I gotta go cards equals new array list. And now it will be okay. I'm not done with the constructor yet, but at least it'll be okay. And it lets me run it now. No null no pointers. Okay. Uh, to complete that, <coughs> again, you got to do four things. You got to make the array list. You got to put the cards in the deck. Then the directions say we have to set size equal to the size of the deck size, and finally we have to uh, call the shuffle method, which we still are playing around with. We haven't got that totally written yet. That's hopefully tomorrow. Okay. Uh, anything else notable here is empty. That should be no hill for a climber. Size method, typical accessor method, no big deal. Shuffle. We're waiting to see how that works. Looks like they're going to make us do the uh, selection shuffle. But we practiced also the perfect shuffle in class today. And then the deal method, uh, just carefully follow your directions. Okay. Directions say if size is 0, return null. And if you get past that and don't return null, then take the size down by 1, decrement it, get the card at this new size position, and return that card.